As I said, our Cameron Thompson and Jake Burns are in Northern Virginia. Both campaigns are holding watch parties tonight. We're going to go to our Cameron Thompson first to talk to McAuliffe about his final message to Virginians. That's right, Candace, and we are at the watch party for the Democratic ticket here in Northern Virginia and still doing a little bit of setup and people are starting to trickle in here, including some surrogates of the Democratic Party, including State Senator Jennifer McClellan from our area, talking with her and other campaign staffer, staffers for McAuliffe. They say that what they were hearing from their teams on the ground is good in terms of voter Democratic turnout for the areas that they need to do well in in order to win the day, including in Northern Virginia and the city of Richmond itself. Of course, we'll have to see how accurate that is once the polls close in less than an hour's time and we start to see them starting to come back in. Now, I did speak to Terry McAuliffe uh, earlier in Election Day, and he said he was enthusiastic about his chances to return to the governor's mansion and especially feels confident with the over 1.1 million early votes that were cast, feeling that those will come back in the favor of the Democratic Party. Now, he, he and the Democratic ticket in the final days of the campaign and throughout have really tried to drive home two messages to voters. One, that what is at stake is the progress that Democrats have made since they took control of the governor's mansion during McCullough's first term there and in the last two years when the General Assembly went the way of the Democrats and while also trying to tie Republican candidate Glenn Youngkin and his policies to former President Donald Trump, who lost Virginia by 10 points last year. But as you mentioned, Bill, with polls showing McAuliffe and Youngkin neck and neck, I asked McAuliffe if there's been voter fatigue with the Trump issue. And he says that there probably is some, but voters will understand what's at stake. People are happy and we just don't want to go back. The message is we're going to we're once again, we are going to beat Donald Trump here in Virginia. 